Previously on Transformers Prime, the planetary alignment to which the prophecy refers is nearly upon us. The flaming mountain in my visions, the place from whence I am to harvest dark energon. I need him over here, now! Megatron, today you answer for your crimes against Cybertron and humanity. Pulse rate is stabilizing. It seems the blood of Unicron I've been seeking is not out there, but rather right here. <laughs> Why is the blood of Unicron erupting from beneath the earth? A question, Optimus, that you shall take to your grave. Possess enough dark energy to reanimate Unicron himself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Optimus, from the looks of things, you've been exposed to a massive amount of dark energy. I am not the only one. Hey, he's lucky to be alive. Megatron found more of the dark stuff? A volcano full. The question is, how? No. The question is, what? As in, what in the world is the blood of Unicron doing here on Earth? The cunts killed a unicorn? White horse with a horn on its head? Prances around all sparkly? Unicron, an ancient evil whose fossilized blood comprises the matter which we call dark energy. As legend would have it. So you're saying this Unicron is some kind of boogeyman? Boogeyman? Make-believe creepy guy who hides in your closet? No, Nurse Darby. Unicron is very real. Was. That is, while I do believe he once existed, I just don't subscribe to the theory that his primordial life force is the substance which harmed Raph. I've heard enough. Jack, please, help me get Raph into the car. <coughs> Mom, I thought he was doing better. Raph needs to be examined by real doctors. And Raph's family needs to know what's happened. His real family. Mom, Raph's family can't protect him. Not like they can. June, it deeply grieves me that I have failed. But I will do everything in my power to ensure that no harm comes to our human friends. Or any human ever again. Optimus. They're children. 
They do not belong in your world. They should be worrying about grades, prom dates, pimples, not their own survival. Mom, dark energon is pouring out of the earth. It doesn't do that. This could be about everyone's survival, not just ours. You're coming with me, all three of you, and they will not be coming back. I understand. That's it? After all we've been through together, see ya? What about our freedom to choose? That may fly on their planet, but not here on Earth. Get in. Do you really expect me to ride in a non-transforming vehicle? Miko, I'm serious. You're not my mother. Miko! Neither are you! Well, I am yours. Let's go, Jack. She is your mom. I'm staying. I'm sorry. Ratchet, activate the ground bridge. No, thank you. Prime, do you copy? I hear you, Agent Fowler. Been watching the news? Mother Nature's got a twitch in her britches. We know about the volcano. And the quakes? Seven major tremors of the exact same magnitude at the exact same time as a volcanic eruption. All over the globe, on different tectonic plates, in theory unrelated if they hadn't happened at the exact same time. Check it out. More good news. Freak storms unlike any the region has seen. Tsunamis threaten the Canadian coast, while lightning storms pummel the Gobi Desert. Meanwhile, electromagnetic anomalies plague urban power grids. These abnormal global phenomena are leaving most to wonder, why now and what next? Don't tell me your cons have built a weather machine. One that powerful? Highly unlikely. I do not believe the appearance of Dark Energon at this point in time to be coincidental. Two one hundred. You okay back there, Raph? I saw lightning. I'm counting until the thunder. <laughs> Looks like a storm. My garden will love it. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. What's that? No! Thank 
you. He says, you're welcome. of your very life blood rising from the depths to become one with me yeah! glad. Are you alright? I will be. Jack... Mom, I... I know. Me too. But you're grounded till you're 30. 25. World leaders are classifying these bizarre weather patterns as a global emergency. Global? And scientists believe the phenomena to be somehow related to the current planetary alignment. What have you learned, Prime? And you better not blow smoke up my... Uh, <laughs> Miss Darby. What a nice surprise. Special Agent Fowler. We have learned this. As with the so-called magma from the volcano, these earthquakes originated far below the Earth's crust. From the very center of the Earth's core, in fact. Quakes don't start there, do they? Tiny tremors rising and falling in a consistent pattern, almost like... ...by the AllSpark. If I convert these data points to audio files... What? What is it? Listen. Soundwave, turn it off. I can still hear it pounding in my brain. A Cybertronian heartbeat? How is that possible? A heart pumps blood. There's nothing inside the Earth to pump except blood of Unicron. Hold on. You mean something's living down there? Inside our planet? I fear that the Earth's very core is not comprised of magma, as your science has suggested, but of dark energon. And if we're hearing a spark, then Unicron is the rising darkness that the prophecy foretold. So, how do we stop this thing from rising? That, I am afraid, was not foretold. How can something be in our Earth's core and be alive? Such a thing is not unprecedented. Before the beginning, there was Primus, and there was Unicron. One, the incarnation of creation, the other, of destruction. For eons, Primus and Unicron battled. The balance of power shifting between them more times than could be counted. Only by creating the 13, the original Primes who preceded me, was Primus finally able to defeat Unicron and cast him out. Primus became one with the very core of our planet, creating life through the well of all sparks, while Unicron was never to be heard from again. Until now. Maybe we can find the hole this Uber Khan left when he dug himself all the way down there and fill it full of explosives. Agent Fowler, I do not believe that Earth became Unicron's home, but rather that, with time and gravitational force, debris collected around the slumbering Titan. Forming your Earth itself. 
and he's only awakening now due to the magnetic pull created by the planetary alignment. Okay, well, what happens now when Unicron wakes up from his billionaire nap? Yeah, does he stretch and kapow? Earth poofs to dust? You don't know, do you? My guess is that Unicron has transcended physical form as we know it. Nonetheless, we must find a way to ensure that this force of nature never fully awakens. The fate of your planet depends upon it. Lord Megatron, our cargo hold is nearly filled with the dark substance. I recommend a retreat. The troops are growing weak from its effects. And yet I grow stronger. Arachnid, you are in command until my return. Your return from where, Master? From my audience with Unicron. Feel your presence. Share your very spark. I call on you as my lord and master, almighty Unicron. Who would speak to me? Your servant most humble. Megatron, leader of the Decepticons, and your very herald. The one who wielded the dark energon which binds us. To awaken you once again. The prophecy has been fulfilled. It is only the beginning of what we shall accomplish. Together! For you shall rule this planet, and those who walk upon it through me. Prideful fool. How dare you think yourself capable of summoning my life force? I rise because I have deemed it my time. Master, I did not mean to overstep. Silence, worm! I have no need of your lowly assistance. Please, my lord, I exist only to serve you. What is this I sense? The taint of Primus? Here? That is Optimus, the last of the Primes, our sworn enemy. You profess loyalty to me, yet allow a disciple of Primus to live. I will destroy him for you. His screams will be heard. I grow weary of your prattle. Surely if you had the power to destroy this Prime, you would have done so already. I will deal with him myself. Ratchet, this epicenter is consistent with the findings of the others. Its terrain is rich in ore. So what does that tell us? It follows that the natural metals in your Earth would be extensions of Unicron, his limbs, if you will. So he did have his morning stretch, which is why these quakes happened. Optimus, I'm detecting a swell in Unicron's spark activity. Rest assured, Ratchet, I will proceed with vigilance. Do you know me, follower of Primus? Unicron, the Chaos Bringer. Good. Now know me as Unicron, your destroyer! <laughs> I humbly request your ear, Lord Unicron. And what would a Prime be so compelled to say to me? I make this appeal not for myself, but for this planet which you constitute, and the beings who inhabit it. Humankind relies upon you for life, sustenance. 
your resurrection will only result in the destruction of a species which evolved from the seeds of your very greatness. So this humankind of whom you speak, you consider them my progeny? Indeed. Parasites! They too shall know my wrathful hand once I am finished with you. <laughs> Line of primes has grown weak in my absence, and thus you shall fall. That outcome is inevitable, but not on this day.